Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Birds All Day vlog. It has been uh, a minute. The season is well underway. There's uh, been a, some stuff to talk about, not too much stuff to talk about. Um, but my name is Drew Fairservice, and yes, this is Birds All Day vlog number four, I think. Um, as I said, it's been a little while, but I've been trying to keep busy. You know, I've been just busy doing, doing dad stuff all over the place. <laughs> And then I thought I was going to come back and I've been kind of kicking around ideas about what this vlog was going to be. What was I going to talk about? Oh, I know I'll talk about lineup construction. It was a big topic during spring training. Uh, again, it has to do with the amount of talent the Blue Jays had on hand. Who's going to be the leadoff hitter? Who's going to hit cleanup? Really important stuff for a team that might win 75 games. But trying to get into the nitty gritty and, uh, and who was going to do what. Um, then I decided, I decided I was going to call a bit of an audible here in the early going of the season. I've, uh, instead of talking about the batting, uh, the batting order, instead of talking about lineup construction and the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and then the Golden Age of lineup construction, I think I'm gonna do something else a little bit different. something, wasn't it? La Grail, lead up double the ninth inning. Pinch run for, which will never, ever stop making me the most angry person in the world. But that's okay, Brandon Drury, walk up home run, even though it didn't end up mattering whether or not there was a pinch runner. Sack punt, all right, nobody out, sure. But uh, yeah, quite the ending, quite the game. More later. Uh, I don't think it's unfair to say that the uh, that Vlad's game there at the end of April was probably the highlight of the Blue Jays' season. <laughs> It'd be hard pressed to see how that isn't the case, unless the Blue Jays somehow go along and win like, I don't know, 80 of their remaining games. And this turns into the Cinderella story of a lifetime. So the game, um, the game, the, his debut was a really, was a lot of fun. It was a great crowd, even though it wasn't as big as maybe we would have expected. Felt like a really good like baseball crowd. Felt like the kind of people who are way more likely to to, to come out to make an, make a commitment to coming to a game like that. Uh, the number of jerseys sold that day. I would love to get a sense of what the number was because it was a lot. 
uh, I was I had the benefit of some nice seats, and the people in those nice seats seemed to disappear one at a time and then return with a number 27 Blue Jays jersey from the Jays shop. Saw some um, some bootleg versions in the early in the early days, which is good, I guess. It's a, it's a sign that people are into it, people are excited. But yeah, there was just um, you know you can see it, you can see it in the video, you can see it if you watch the game or if you were there. People getting up, standing ovation for every at bat, just a complete and total uh, anticipation. He had that at bat where he came up with the base loaded, and it just seemed like, well, this is what's going to happen now. He's going to hit a home run. Um, of course, he didn't, but then. You know, he he's at bat in the ninth inning, the extra base hit down the base down the first baseline. He has seemingly has a knack for coming up with those timely hits right now, or more accurately, his hits have come in timely situations. Not like he's something he's able to do on command, but um, but yeah, there's just a, there's a real sense of anticipation every time he comes to the plate. It's always, uh, and that's kind of been the the recurring theme here for the entire um, whatever three weeks. Or so that he's been up. It's just like waiting for it. Everyone's waiting for the, waiting for you know him to just have it all click. All right, I think that's it. So since the last time I did one of these birds all day podcasts, has moved to the athletic. I'll put a link down below. Uh, hopefully the discount code is still active. But if you haven't already, you can sign up for the athletic, and then you can listen to the podcast right in the athletic app or on the athletic website. Uh, launched uh, the newsletter, Vlad Guerrero, Vlad Religion newsletter. I'll have a link down below for that. Also, there'll be a link down below for uh, if you want to listen to Candy, featured earlier in this video. Um, I'm not going to put a link to my um, PS4 tag because nobody wants to play Apex Legends with me because I'm fucking terrible. Uh, but that's about it. My name is Drew. We'll talk to you next time on the Birds All Day vlog. Thank you.